Hello everyone, welcome. This is Ray of Light. Welcome back to Genesis Noir. This is going to be part three. And last time we left off with getting the cigar and the saxophone clues. Now we're going to go back in and see what else we can find out about this exact scene right here. Why? is Golden Boy shooting Miss Mass. So, okay, we had that one and that one, so we're gonna go here. A suspicious shape, only folded space-time, however. Leftovers from a dead Nova. A dead end. A searchlight blazes. A golden boy is nowhere to be found. Let's go! As the pull of gravity claws together clouds of interstellar atoms, tremendous pressure builds and a fire is ignited. The star is born in a halo of dust, its belly full of hydrogen, helium, and lithium. Inside, fusion digests this initial meal into progressively larger, heavier, more complex elements. Growing larger and heavier with iron, the star finally collapses and bursts into a supernova, unleashing a wind of rare, heavy elements in its dying breath. Like he's got the clock out too. Like he's got his little wrist, this little, this little watch. Like he's keeping time. As time goes on, and the planets revolve around the sun. Right. Oh. oh God. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it said it, it did say supernova. So the uh, the sun is getting very big. And expanding, and expanding, and expanding, and ex accelerating, an alarmingly accelerating rate. And 
pretty scary. Pretty scary to see. Not sure what the stag was about, so let's find out. Oh, okay. Bring up this way. Let's follow footsteps. But pretty big stag, considering the size of the footsteps there. These are like the ones that we planted earlier. And flowers. So what did it say? It said Golden Boy is nowhere to be found. H-U-N-T. Hunt. We're on the search. On the hunt. For Golden Boy. <clears throat> Where is he? our ranger skills here. Tracking down. Oh yeah. Is that poop? It's poop. If it's poop and it's warm, that means it's fresh. Come on, go to the don't touch the poop. You know you want to. <laughs> yep, <laughs> so <laughs> Fresh trail, it's a fresh trail. <laughs> Wait, 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 no, I see something over there. What's that? What's that? Can I get over there? How do I get over there? This way? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That doesn't help. That did not help at all. Oh, 
snake. Hello, snake. Is that a cave? Oh, we've got a cave. Here we go. Now we're on to something. Cave with cave mushrooms. Oh, we got a fork in the road. Okay, we're going left. Left. Always go left. What did I tell you? Is that the exit? Yep, that's the exit. Looks like it, I think. Is it the right exit, though? Nope, not. Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Hello? Oh, oh, what's this? Permanent figure is painted on a stretched skin. Who are you? Well, yes, eat the mushrooms. That's, that's exactly what you want to do. She's not going to go crazy over there. Curves car. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Oh man, did touching the, the pretty idol that did that open something over here? The idol with the voluptuous curves. bending over and everything like, hey there. She's fishing for a drink. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the little sound effects. Oh, the, okay, so that's where the phone number came from. You should feel pretty lucky. You just got to chat up, like, with the main lady of the place. Like, obviously when you were walking up to her and just staring at her with, like, pure love in your eyes. Just, hi. How are you? I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to know you. <laughs> she obviously noticed, so. <laughs> mm, okay. Eight, nine, what? We got a bunch of numbers. Nine, eight, zero, six, six, five, oh. Yep, that was her phone number. Look at those hips, man. Oh, something to be just awed by. <laughs> oh, and then you called. Yes, we called. That rotary, rotary phone. Old school. So 
So then was the night that we called, was it that the same? Oh man, we got bats now. Was that the same night that this all happened? Maybe Golden Boy... Maybe Golden Boy saw her flirting with Mr. Uh, tall, Dark, and Handsome here. The P.I. or... No, no, he's not even a P.I. He's a watch salesman. He just looks like a P.I. and dresses like one. <laughs> So maybe, maybe he got jealous. Even though, can't really say much. I mean, we've kind of seen like all the uh, attention he was getting from the ladies. Doesn't mean he was bad though. Didn't mean he like was giving out his number. So she should, she might be in the wrong. She might be in the wrong. Especially if, you know, we, we know there were engaged or, you know, married or, you know, at least we knew something was going on with them. I mean, they had their initials engraved on on uh, his items, so looks like all the footsteps lead out of here. And they're going this way. Butterflies. Is Miss Mass really the guilty one here? We'll find out. So now, I guess we go this way. No, we don't go this way. The footsteps end here, though. Oh, here we go. Tracker. Bunny Rabbit. Hello, Bunny. Oh, no, no, okay, the footsteps go this way now. Uh, another dead end. Keep going this way. Ha, here we go. Ah, uh, yes, she found, uh, hey, the expert tracker. we've been looking for. Oh! Perfect shot, perfect aim. Right in the heart. I don't know, is that where the heart's gonna be? I think the heart will be lower down in the chest there. If anything, she got like I don't know how it, I don't know how she killed it, because <laughs> that looks like it would be like what like a compared to like humans like a shoulder wound. I think it would probably be able to like hobble away a little bit after that, but who knows? Maybe she, or is that it? maybe it's in the neck? She got like a major uh, artery there or something. I think it would take longer to die than that, though. Definitely would need to bleed out for a little bit. And that's that. That's not just me being morbid. It's being realistic. All right, what do I do? Ah, uh, hello. Okay. Click on the moon. What is that? We're doing another rotating thing. Waiting for the time to go and pass until it turns to bones. The remains of a male creature born from the ashes of a dead star. Fatally sought after, feminine hands wish to possess it. So we took the antler. Hmm. 
Still not sure what's going on here. Not sure at all. Like, what did any of that have to do with the mystery at hand? Something, I guess. It's a clue. So, still an unfinished mechanism. What is it? An antler from a stag. Once part of a star, it was pursued for its strange beauty. Okay. We'll go on to the next part. A neutron star that has stopped spinning. Going through the motions. A familiar trail leads to a new variable. Hi. How are you? I hope you're enjoying this so far. 9.5 billion years after the Big Bang, the ashes of an ancient stellar explosion began gathering in a single point. The crush of gravity compacted these remnants so tightly together that they ignited into a newborn star orbited by a halo of dust and gravel. Around this star, asteroids collided, Ever larger clumps of inanimate rock were formed, and this protoplanetary disk would slowly gather into eight planets. Over the next 4.5 billion years, these planets spun silently in the void. For 99. Point... Good lord. 998, 983. What is that? Nine eight. Well, I'm just gonna say nine nine ninety nine point nine hundred nine hundred ninety eight thousand nine hundred eighty three percent. Is it thousands? Nine hundred ninety ninety eight thousands nine hundred eighty three percent of the universe's age. The only histories were written were in the strata of lonely geology, but this quiet would not last. A piece of golden shrapnel, remnants of a supernova. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. Follow the trail. Oh, oh, okay. Pieces. Alright, where's my dude? Is he all the way back over here? Oh, hold on. Guess we keep going. Can I look at that? Keep going. Keep going. Oh, okay. What, am I supposed to do all of these? Did I miss some? Maybe I need to go back. Hold on. Okay. 
can't get to that one. It's the meteor belt. Okay, I guess that's the sun. It's supposed to be the sun. So maybe that wasn't the meteor belt. Because there's Earth. So that was just pieces of the supernova. Or no, is this the sun? I am so confused. What's going on here? Rock recently fragmented into a sharp point, not accidental. Let's go. Okay, we're running around in the woods looking at arrowheads and stuff, trying to figure out what happened. So did he... did... Golden Boy run away into the middle of the forest? Is that what we're talking here? Is that what happened? Well, they're telling me to go this way, so I'm gonna follow the arrows. Oh, there's that tracker lady again. Hello. What are you looking for now? Hmm. <laughs> Just throws it aside. Nope, not what I needed. Not today. Spelling, guys. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Mm. Uh, okay. Oops. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Tufts of wool taken from bleeding sheep. I'll take it. Yours too. Sorry, old shepherd dude. I need some wool to make a wool coat. Wool sweater. One of the two. Even though I'm wearing a trench coat, trust me, I need something warm. Something warm to wrap around me. <laughs> okay. Looks like they're doing like textiles. Keep going. Yeah. Oh yeah, destroy all the pottery. Smash pottery. Smashed pottery. Pottery, the evidence of a pillage. Smash every single piece. Yeah, take that. Take that. Who cares about your pottery? Nobody. Just kidding. That's so mean. <laughs> but I'm still gonna smash every piece. satisfaction because I have a lot of rage and aggressiveness that I need to take out I'm just some pottery <laughs> yeah get it get it 
get every get it, get it all get all, every last single piece gone gone obliterated wiped out and that one yep can't I'll oh, see now now this stuff I don't know about this it's just this is taking it too far this is like what ancient Greco Roman stuff Uh, yeah, okay, we're not gonna destroy that one. Oh, and this is, uh... Yeah, that's fancy. This is like Egyptian pottery or whatever, you know? Can't do anything with this one. It's too big. Can't, can't, can't break it. Oh, hey. Maybe we can break it. We just gotta shake it enough. Doesn't it? Just push that thing over and smash it. I'm a terrible person. I am terrible. It's okay. At least I can admit it. Scatter coins cut loose from a purse. I'm causing. Just got some unfinished business here. And we're looking for a murderer. So it's justified. Hi. Uh, Path of Rebel crushed by conquering armies. Okay, so we found the door, but we're not gonna go out the doorway. Right? Okay, I'm just gonna keep going this way. More bricks. Haha! <laughs> yay! Um. Well, that looks like business. Secret codes, what do you need me to do? Okay, lily pads. Just get rid of all of them. Go. Get out of here. Nobody wants you. There aren't even frogs in here that want you. Hello, wise person. How are you today? Kind of in the Baphomet pose there. The little cross legged with the. Actually, supposed to be one hand up, one hand down? No, I think it's both hands up. Mm. Yes, breaking more pottery. That over. Yeah, we are very destructive and we don't care. Fragments of a divine statue recently toppled by me. Yours truly. Oh, there's a, is that the four legged or four armed person. Clear 
away the dirt. Reveal the scene. Or is that smoke? Volcano eruption. Uh oh. That's not good. Can I knock over more pots? Do I have to clean every bit off the screen? Caduceus, right? Is that what that's called? A staff with two figures spiraling upward. All other artifacts are buried beneath rubble. I think that's what it's called, the Caduceus with the snake's wings. It was like Hermes' staff, I think. Or was it Apollo? One of the two. Obviously, it was Greek, so it had to have been a caduceus. The same thing that's like the symbol of the medical field. Whoa! Well, I always said that if that, if I ever got a tattoo, that it would be something similar to that, going down the back of my spine, like two snakes. Starting up here on my back and then going down, like twisting down the spine, kind of like uh, one would be. I thought black and white, but I don't know how black and white looks with tattoos, so then I thought about like, uh, what do you call it? Not complimentary. Uh, the two opposite colors of the color wheel, so it'd be like what? I think purple and yellow was one of them. But you know how you have the color wheel, like two colors that were on the opposite ends of the spectrum and have them intertwining just to kind of represent duality. That's if I ever got a tattoo. I doubt I'll ever get it, but you know, it was an idea. It'd be sort of like that. But then I also kind of thought, like, about getting, like, to where they would come, like, the heads of the snakes would come, like, right here underneath the collarbones and then go all the way down to, like, the tail end of the spine. But my problem is the visibility of that right there. So it's a cool idea, but just not something that I think I'd ever really do. Or yeah, like like have the snake heads go right here, but then have the two wings like on, on the back. I think that would be cool. But the problem is committing to a tattoo idea like that. Not to mention the price, that would be an expensive tattoo. And I'd have to get someone that I really, 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 really trusted to do the artwork. Like, really trusted, because that is my biggest thing with tattoos, is that it is permanent, and you better really, really trust the artist. And there's not very many people that I would trust with putting something permanent on my body. Avoid. A rogue planet far from home. <clears throat> a golden glint catches the eye on a crisp afternoon. So I'm gonna do this one more part and then end this episode. I probably should have ended it already, but we'll make this one longer. Winter winds blow as the Earth teeters in orbit in its orbit 
Actually, no, I am going to end it because I think if I end it right here, it should be fine. It'll start right here. So that's the end of this episode. I got two more clues, right? The antler and the caduceus. In the next episode, episode four, we'll get the next two clues. So here's a little preview. Winter winds blow as the Earth teeters in its orbit around the sun. 23.5 degrees of axial tilt to result in a planet that bows in deference to its star. Bows, yeah, not bows. Bows in deference to its star, frosting the distant hemisphere with deep snow banks and icy streams. So, there's a little preview. Uh, we'll do that one in part four. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please like, please subscribe. I appreciate you watching, and be ready and look forward to the next episode. Thank you for watching. This is Ray of Light, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!